And we made it to Mineo, which we are then going to avoid. We'll also get a couple place names here, like the Mineo Byway, but nothing all that important, if you ask me. But if we head through, we made it back to the plains. There's nothing all that spectacular about the names here. All right, so south through here. And then I believe we are going to have to go west eventually. Well, maybe it's a little too early? No, that that is indeed the way. Don't hit me. Only 114 more experience to go, which probably means like 25 of those guys. More of the oak rots, they only give me three experience. There we go. Like I said, did, what? How did he hit me? How did he swing around like that? That is not cool. All right, back to Barbado Port. Now we don't have too much work to do here. What I wanna do is head back to the clinic and I have to actually think about where that is. Should be up here, right? This should be the clinic. Yes, Bluto's clinic. All right, let's talk to Dr. Bluto. Oh, that's right. I didn't come back to him after I got the sword. He has something to say when I get the sword. That sword. Fair enough. You want to see Asteria with your own eyes, do you? If you're that determined, I don't plan to stop you. But please, be careful. All right, let's talk to him again. First the storm wall, then the monsters. What's next? A plague of locusts? Yet you're still with us. Seems like the hand of fate is guiding you. Fools rush in, though. Best chat with the townsfolk. You might learn something valuable. That's how I got the sword. You, you should know that. Anything more to say? No. All right, so I'm going to have to leave town and come back because I forgot to talk to him after I got the sword. Let's talk to Nurse Ayla. You're looking healthy. How are you holding up? I'm doing all right. Yeah, so unfortunately, uh, you're going out again. Take care of yourself, Adol. Because I did not talk to him after I got the sword, I do need to leave and come back. I think I need to actually leave town, but we'll try it here. Talk to him. Yeah, I actually do need to leave town here. He's supposed to say something else, but I have to go and leave town in order for that to trigger. It's a little weird how this quest works, but we'll get it all sorted. All right, so back into Barbado Port. Back up to Dr. Bluto's clinic. There we go. Are you sure about this? If they're available, the militia will gladly escort you back to Zepic Village. No need to worry, I can make it back on my own. And we found Luda. This is Luda Gemma. First and foremost, I need to go and comfort my wife. All right, then I won't argue. I just wish I could be of more assistance. I'm afraid I simply have no treatment for chronic sleepwalking. Think nothing of it. I appreciate everything you've done, Dr. Bluto. Well then, if you'll excuse me. And we've met Luda Gemma. Oh my, pardon me. And then off he goes. So much for that. Uh, now, don't you have something new to say? After that, hello, Adol, how is everything? What that fellow just now? That was Luda from Zepic Village. He comes around often-ish, mostly at random. He's a chronic sleepwalker. One of the militia members found him staggering about in the plains nearby. With things as dangerous as they are, sleepwalking is a very, very dangerous affliction. Still, he seems healthy enough. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Anything else? Yes? Actually, he's in amazing shape. To be perfectly honest, we should all be so lucky. That seems it for you. Let's talk to Ayla then. He's such a young fellow, yet he's already taken a wife. It's hard to believe. I wanted to date him. I'm so jealous. With him disappearing all the time, though, she must be a nervous wreck. I hope he makes it back home safe and sound. All right, so that is it for the two of you. Let's head out and... Yeah, we'll go ahead and head back to Zepic Village. We get a new piece of dialogue for doing that, so we might as well go back and take care of it. I didn't, I don't want to talk to you, Arcia. Thanks for butting in though, even though I ran into you. Just the way this works sometimes. All right, so no. I get a little confused in these stages, it happens, but we will find our way. Yeah, that's right. This one's kind of a zigzag. 
We gotta go up the right side, then up the left side, then back up the right side. But you'll eventually find your way. So where we want to go is actually probably closer to get to from Minea. But for the time being, I want to get that additional piece of dialogue. I want to head back to Zepic Village and see how things are working out now that Luda Gemma has made it back. He was in my way. He could not. He could not live. No, just kill. Maybe always running is not the best option, but I like it better, to be honest with you. Just as standard protocol here. Now, right, this isn't the one, right? No, 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 no. Way too early. Way too early. I do keep track of things by signs, so the signs are indeed serving their purpose. All right, whatever. Got hit a couple times, but... I'll be okay with that. As we kill more reballs, apparently those things are very dangerous. All right, that's the one that I want to go to. So let's head east here, and then kind of northeast from there. Oh, he's back. There we go. Just momentary losses of where I am every once in a while, but we will eventually find our way. And I made it back to town, just stand still for a bit, and we will be fine. All right, so we don't want to talk to you. And you, of course, have a long dialogue. I didn't want to talk to you. I believe I want to talk to you. You're Iris, right? What? Luda was in Barbado? Oh, dear Lord. Thank you for sparing my idiot husband. So where is he now? You don't know? You have anything more to say? I swear, he probably got lost on his way back to the village again. Hey, it's easier than it looks. Well, actually it's easier than it sounds, I guess. It's a miracle he hasn't become monster food a thousand times over with how often this happens. Anything else? That is it. All right, we are off again then. Eventually. I have to go the right way. Hold on one second though. Should be good to go, had to keep in mind where I'm going and how to get there from Zepic Village. I usually go from Minea in order to get there, but I think I can figure it out. It's pretty much the same directions as it turns out, or at least that's how I'm going to treat it. And I'm going to try to get as much experience as I can along the way. As you can see, the Reballs give me the most EXP. You get six from them. You do need to kill these guys a lot in order to get all the stats. The Curloids... I don't think we've actually gotten all the stats from them yet. That's how much it takes sometimes. So we're pretty much going to head all the way south, pretty much to Minea. But eventually we will stop. Hey, we got another level there. So we now have 80 HP, 75 strength, and 60 defense. All right, so this is the spot from the small little bridge and the sign that says that uh, Zepic Village is still seven kilometers, seven Cremelia to the north. Uh, we actually want to head northwest from here. And then eventually to the west. Now we can go through here and we can find the only screen, if memory serves me correctly, with the Picards on it. And you're going to want to kill them if you want to complete your bestiary. Once again, I'm not headed for a complete bestiary, but if you are, uh, this is the only screen with these little guys, with the livestock guinea pigs, which, if memory serves me correctly, were actually livestock at one point. Might still be, I don't know. But uh, this is the only screen where you can kill these guys. You can hear some fighting going on in the distance. That's going to be in the far northeast of this screen eventually he should be around here somewhere there he is go ahead and kill the curloid and you have now saved luna gemma he kind of wanders around this general area here thank you so much i don't know who you are but you really did save my life ah oh, wait a moment i believe i saw you at the barbado clinic did i not please pardon my awful manners my name is luda luda gemma from Zepic Village. Adol gave his name and explained that Luna's wife was quite concerned about him and yelled at me about it, possibly more importantly. I see, so I've made her worry again. Damn, I sound sleeping. 
Why does nothing wake me when I'm when I sleepwalk? I've had this problem for six months, ever since the storm wall appeared. And look at that! Once again, I've wound up in the middle of nowhere trying to get back home. Which way is Epic Village? Or would you be able to escort me there, perchance? And Adol agreed to escort Luda Gemma back to Zepic Village. And luckily, they just warp us there. Oh, my dearest Luda. I'm so sorry for causing such a fuss. I thought for sure the monsters had eaten your face off. I was so very worried. That's a very specific worry that you had. Your imagination runs wild, my dear. Almost scarily so. But I'm all right. I worry about you and... Your thoughts, though. This is Adol. He rescued me from the brink of certain demise. Did he now? Thank you, lad. Lad? How can I ever repay you for what you've done? Adol, if you'll please excuse us. We have some business to attend to. What? Really? Like right now? I'm in your debt, my friend. A thousand thanks for saving my life. And off they go! <laughs> And for that, we got 500 experience. They don't show you that, but as you can see, my EXP bar is over halfway to the next level. So I would highly recommend that you do this quest because it's 500 experience when 500 experience is over half of a level. So I think we've given them enough time. Let's head in. Is your business done? It is. Yeah, it's instantly done. Not that I'm commenting on it, but... I don't see how I cannot. I swear, what is Luda thinking? How can he say not to worry when he knows he'll sleepwalk again? I may need to tie him to the bed tonight and leave him that way this time. I'll try not to read too much into that, but it is difficult not to. I think that is all that you have to say. It is indeed. So now Iris will be inside, but we can talk to Luda Gemma. I've worried my wife greatly, and am deeply saddened. Ashamed, even. I do wonder, though, if there's some deeper reason behind my bouts of sleepwalking. In my dreams, I always hear a strange voice calling to me. It's the voice of a young girl, but I can never ascertain where she is. Yet always, I feel obligated to respond and seek her out. So I wander, both in my dream and in reality. I'm indebted to you, Adol. We don't have much to offer, but you may think of this house as your own home. That seems to be it from Luda Gemma. So that should be everybody that I wanted to talk to in Zepic Village. But we have another side quest we can take care of. So I am going to head up north here and see if I can't avoid talking to people while I find the escape. There are landmines of conversations everywhere. We're gonna head north to the mountain path. Now, where we wanna go is to the shrine officially, but we're gonna take out some Unu guns along the way. As you can see, they still do one damage to me. I might be, no, I'm not over leveled. Level four seems to be where, where you go most of the time. But I do wanna take these guys out. They are worth quite a bit of EXP after all. Seems like eight per kill. That's pretty damn good. Uh, we can go around, no, we can't go around here, but we can go around the back, but eventually we will get the area known as the shrine. This is where we were told to go. Therefore, this is the last place that we will go. Should be something, yeah. Door in there, that's the place where we want to avoid. And we can see they have a lot of strength, 34 strength, but I got 60 defense, so, you know, I win in the long run. We want to go east of here. And then eventually we will find the bandits that we got told about and their leader, Goban. I refuse to say Goban because then I'll just think of Gohan the entire time that I talk to him. Like, how's your dad? Go do. Uh, here is the thieves' den, though. Let's head inside and just talk to him. Why not? This is Morgan the thief. He doesn't have anything to say. Nor does Lugan the thief. But the person that we want to talk to is this guy right here. It's Goban. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to the boss to start this. As you can see, I have quite a bit of money as well. 
You're either brave or stupid, kid. Why have you come here? Don't tell me you actually came here to hunt us down all by yourself. I don't know if that's something that I can do. What do you mean we're rampaging through the city stealing everyone, everybody's silver? That's some kind of joke? You've got it all wrong, kid. Believe it or not, there really is honor among thieves. We only steal from those who make their money by the blood and sweat of honest workers. If it's stolen silver you're after, look around you. Not a trace of it here. All of ours was stolen too. If we ever find the culprit, he's going to pay dearly. You can be sure of that. Anything else? That seems to be it. That seems to be it from Goban. I do like your shirt, though. All right, let's try and negotiate with him, I guess, at this point. Huh? Who told you that we stole the Silver Bell? I'm afraid you're misinformed. We know how important the Silver Bell is to the people of Zepic. Stealing that would break the villagers' hearts, and that's something we would never do. Yeah, he seems to be a good guy. Believe whatever you'd like, but I'm telling you, we had nothing to do with it. Can I negotiate one again? Yes, I can. You're free to doubt us, but that doesn't change the fact that we're innocent. One more. Now that's it. All right. Looks like we have at least some information here. And the chest is empty. So is this one, unfortunately. You can tell because it's already open. We can head through the passage, but it all pushed against the door, but it did not budge, nor did there seem to be any keyhole. Well, seems like we're going to need a little bit more information before we go in there.